So we have a five person crew out here working at the dam. We run our crews in hitches of 10 days. So that crew has been out here for 10 days. Uh, and we also did have another 10 day hitch out here with another five person crew. So in total, uh, 20 days and 10 folks have been out here working on this project. We're here today at the site of Marcy Dam, uh, where we have a Student Conservation Association crew working on the removal of Marcy Dam. Marcy Dam was originally constructed as a log flush dam back in the 1800s. During the 1930s, during the time of the Civilian Conservation Corps, the current dam was rebuilt. In 2011, Hurricane Irene came through and there was a surge of water that took out the bridge that went across the top of the abutments and the top of the spillway of the dam was compromised. The Department of Environmental Conservation made a decision to start the phased removal of the, the spillway section of the dam to help restore the natural stream bed. And that is a process that's going on over the course of five to 10 years. Even with the dam removed or the impoundment no longer holding water, this area will provide a great location for people to come and have a wide open view for many years as the process of the natural uh, regeneration happens. We get all of our materials and supplies here on our backs on foot. Um, because this is a wilderness area, we're not able to bring motorized vehicles to transport our tools or our hardware. Um, so we hike all of that in two and a half miles to the dam site. So uh, removing the dam is actually a little more complicated than you might think. Um, there's a few different phases of it. Uh, we have to remove all of the rock and ballast that has been filling the dam. Um, and then we actually have to begin splitting the timbers and the dimensional lumber uh, that comprise the frame of the dam. So uh, we use double jack hammers and splitting wedges to remove those timbers from the crib or the frame of the dam. Uh, and then once we've built up a lot of material in the work site, uh, we'll lift that material out of the work site using a grip hoist and a high line. Uh, a grip hoist is I guess what some people might think of as a really beefy come along or winch. Holding. It essentially allows us to pull uh, up to two tons of force. Uh, and in this case allows us to lift some stringers that can be up to 30 feet long out of the work site. In order to lift those timbers out of the work site, uh, we use a high line. We actually have two metal tripods. Um, so each of those metal tripods has a block or a pulley, which the line runs through. When the grip hoist slacks the line, the crew members down on the dam are able to pull that line down and hook up a timber to it. They'll then holler at the hoister to tension the line. As the grip hoist ratchets the line up, that load or timber will lift up and then someone standing on one of the embankments will be able to pull it across and out of the work site. Long term, from a fishery standpoint, the removal of the dam will allow fish species that would normally want to go higher up into Marcy Brook the ability to travel past this blockage. I mean, it's been really cool seeing the difference just in the past two seasons that I've been out here. It looks like this is going to eventually return to a forested area, um, but for now still provides a really beautiful place for folks to stop, have lunch, uh, camp nearby, and um, I think it's going to be really neat to see this area return to its original character.